Welcome to the Fermented Homestead. If you're new here, my name is Anna, and on this channel, I'm sharing our journey of learning how to turn our home into a homestead. Welcome to the monthly Azure Standard Haul. Today was a pretty big one, and I'm really excited to share it with you. I got some pretty cool products and trying some new things out and just found some really screaming deals. So, spoiler alert, I spent $529.85 before any kind of discounts or anything like that. We saved a bunch of money. So I'm gonna wait until the end to show that, share that with you. But for now, I'm gonna unpack these things and I'm gonna walk you through everything that we got, show you the prices, compare the prices to Amazon and tell you how much I saved or did not save. But in case you're wondering, I saved because you probably see that in the thumbnail. This video is probably one of my favorite videos of the whole, uh, the whole month. And I like it because it makes me seem much fr more frugal than I am because I usually save so much money on these things that I'm just like, yes, score. Okay, so we're gonna, go we're gonna move along and we're gonna get started going through our list. And if you have been with me through my other Azure Standard Halls, I will link the playlist up here. It'll also be at the end. Keeping with traditions on those Azure Standard Halls, I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna compare the price with Azure versus Amazon and what the difference in the price was, how much I paid for both, and how much I saved or not, um, and has yet to be not. I ordered some things that I don't typically order. I ordered a few things that I really wanted to try out, some few things that I really needed to try out. And I should preface here saying that I did make an error in my ordering. I normally only order organic spices and I screwed up on this one. And usually on, a, on Azure, I'll try and overlay something here for you guys, but I probably won't. But anyways, there's a little toggle button that you can that you can put that you can um, toggle, and that will only show you organic options. That is normally what I do. However, I got a new computer, and I had not hit that toggle button, and I didn't make sure that the things that I had ordered were organic. So the price comparisons are going to be. If it's organic, it's gonna be an organic comparison. If it's not organic, it is a non-organic comparison. But several of these items I won't be purchasing again simply because they are not organic, especially on the spices. But other than other than that, these spices are still really good. They're definitely a lot better quality than you would get in the grocery store or other places on Amazon. They are much more careful where they select their items from. They're much more careful. I believe they're non-irradiated. Non Make sure you stay tuned through the rest of the month. I am doing a weekly uh, uh, pantry cooking video and I will be featuring some of these items in those videos. So uh, the first thing that we have is Jovial brand diced tomatoes. And these jars, I really like these because the Jovial brand, these ones come in the actual jars. Okay, yeah, they're 18.3 ounces. Most of these types of things come in a 14 ounce jar. So they are about um, a half of a cup larger, but they're also, let me see, these are 1977 for six of these. And so that is, What's the price on that? I think that's like $3 per jar, which is kind of expensive, but it's not crazy for what you would find in a grocery store. A jar of organic diced tomatoes that were not on sale, that's kind of what you're paying for this. So I think it's gonna be a good deal. We'll see how they are. I really, 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 really love that it comes in a an actual jar for several reasons. One is that it's not leaching, no matter, even if it's BPA free, these things are acidic and anything other than glass, it's gonna, is gonna leach whatever chemicals are in there. So that's what I really like about this. I really like the Jovial brand. I've discovered them through um, einkorn, which is like an organic, a wheat berry type type thing, but um, they are really big into into that, and they do a lot of gluten free things. But they're very allergen conscious, and they're very organic, and they're just a really great friendly company to or, uh, purchase from. And which is why, as far as I have seen, they're the only company that is making these in the glass jars, which I love. Okay, so anyways, on to the next, on to the. The price on this one is $19.77 for six of these. Amazon, it's $34.95. And the difference, we saved $15.18 on this here six pack. I believe that you would be able to, I don't think you'd be able to get this any cheaper in the grocery store. Um, certainly you could get it cheaper than Amazon, but this is an Amazon comparison. So uh, that's what we're comparing. <clears throat> okay, so next up we have taco seasoning. This one 
If you saw my Costco haul, which I will also link up here down below so you can check it out at the end. On that one, I mistakenly bought non-keto taco seasoning. So I, I thought, thought I found a great deal at Costco. Turned out it wasn't because it totally had the number one ingredient and it was corn. I couldn't even believe it. So make sure you check your spice seasonings before you actually purchase them. So I got three of these bags. The ingredients are just Himalayan, pink Himalayan salt, spices, sugar, paprika, onion, onion and garlic, onion, garlic, chili pepper, smoked paprika, red bell pepper, and sunflower oil. So I bought three of these for a grand total of $22.50 for three pounds. Amazon, it would have been $20.68, so I actually paid a little bit extra, $1.82 extra for all three of these. And I can't remember, I think the brand was a McCormick, but it was, uh, I think it was original taco seasoning. It was not organic. Uh, but it was, it did have keto ingredients. I made sure to look at the ingredients to make sure that I was buying, you know, cause I'm not gonna buy this if it's not keto, you know, low carb, things like that. So I made sure to get the proper comparison on that one. The next item is organic cumin. And I really like that this is organic. I like all spices that are organic. There was just, forgot to toggle that button. So as soon as we go through these items, we're gonna make sure to get the, more, get the organic products, but it's still a fair price comparison because we are comparing of like items. So this one, I got one pound of cumin. I really like to do Mexican style cooking and things like that. And it's really popular in those uh, recipes. So uh, for Majeure, I paid $11.44. Amazon, it would have been $17.10. So we saved $5.66. The next one I'm kind of excited about. I don't know if you guys have ever known about something called nutritional yeast. This is not, an or I did not buy an organic product on this one again, but I will next time if they have that available. I got five pound bag of this and from Azure, it was $31.89 and on Amazon equal, um, equal product would have been $74.45. So I saved $42.56 with Amazon. Nutritional yeast, if you've not heard of it, it is basically like, a it's, it's a way to make your food taste like cheese without lactose. It's really huge in the vegan community. It's really huge in people who are allergic to or have uh, lactose sensitivities and things like that. It is a great product. I used it a lot. One thing that I really like to do when I was doing vegan over the summer, you mix up uh, potatoes, carrots, and nutritional yeast. You can add some other spices and things like that, but you basically make a nacho cheese sauce <laughs> and it's delicious. I, um, my, even my husband enjoyed it and he totally wasn't doing vegan, but it's really good. You can add it into a lot of different things and you don't use a whole lot to flavor your, your foods. Like you, you would use um, in a big like quart sized jar, you would maybe use a like, half of a cup tops. So it has a really good intense flavor. You can, you can use it to make things just taste better, especially if you have kids, things like that. That's a great option. Okay. So garlic powder is next up on the list. We got one pound of garlic powder. We have a lot of granulated garlic, but my husband really, um, I don't particularly, I don't notice a huge difference, but my husband is very particular and really likes to have the garlic powder. So I made sure to pick up that because they don't have it at Costco. And so this was $12.05 and it would have been $15.09 on Amazon. So we saved $3.04. Okay, next up is these Skitch, Skitch, <laughs> uh, these Skip Jack tuna pouches. These, I really like these for the convenience factor of it. You can take this with you. You can keep it in your car. You can have it in your emergency kit. You can keep it in your locker at work. All of those sorts of things. I'm trying to get this thing open. Hang on. Hold on. Hold on. So we got these pouches. I really, really like the idea of these. Less so for long-term storage, but they work well for that. But these are more for convenience factor. You don't have to carry a can opener with you. So it is actually great for like an SHTF kind of thing. Uh, so you can just have this great wild, sustainably sourced tuna pouch. This is 110 calories per pouch and it's a three ounce pouch. And every single, it says every single tuna mercury, every single tuna mercury tested. And it is paleo certified, ocean wise, American Pregnancy Association officials, and a whole 30 approved gluten-free gene, blah, blah, blah. It's all of the healthy things. So I really like this product, or I, I like the idea of this product. I'm going to have to give it a try. I have had this brand of tuna, just not in the pouch. So I would assume it's equal quality. So these were, drum roll please. Where is it? Okay. Um, I bought two of these packs. They were 23.26 per case. And that puts it at $38 per case on Amazon. 
So I saved $29.48 for both. That was weird the way that worded with that, but hopefully you got that. For both of those, I saved $29.48. Okay, so then I got some activated charcoal. And I really like this brand. If you're not familiar with this uh, Star West Botanicals, I've purchased quite a few things from them and I feel that they're very high quality. I particularly buy their, um, what's that called? <sighs> Valerian root. I like to buy their valerian root in bulk and then I like to package it myself. It helps me to sleep and helps me to calm my mind when it's going crazy. So I bought the one pound of activated charcoal simply for SHTF kind of situation if somebody gets sick or if you need to, if you get something terrible in a wound or something like that, like an infection, you can do a poultice and you can and you can pull that, that out. It's really great at just holding on to bad things and flushing it through your system or leaching them out through a wound. Um, so anyways, I got one pound and it was $19.78 for Majeure and $15.95 on Amazon. So we actually paid $3.83 more than we would have paid for it on Amazon. Um, I'm, there's only two things on this list that I paid more for and I'm perfectly okay with that. I have no issue buying anything that I want to on, on Azure. number one, because overall, you'll see I'm saving a significant amount of money. So it's much easier for me to just add all of these things into my cart and then I can order them all, pick them all up at once. I don't have to do all of these separate orders and I can just get what I need. And I I, I have no problem paying an extra, what is that, $5, $6 almost on my entire order and I'm supporting this great company. So I have no issue with that. It's $6, if $6 is something you're gonna cry over, then you can just order them all separately. I don't have the time for that. Okay, and let's see, next up is tomato powder. You might notice a recurring theme because we order this every single time that it's available. We paid for five pounds of this tomato powder. It was $44.18 on Azure. It would have been $74.95 on Amazon, which is $30.77 more on Amazon. Okay, so we go back to a couple of different spices. I got this here, Cajun King. Uh, Cajun seasoning. It was $7.04 through Azure and $10 on Amazon. So we saved $2.96. And this one also, it has uh, spices, paprika, salt, sugar, uh, silicone dioxide. I'm not sure what that is. I need to look that one up. It says it's less than 2% as an anti-caking agent. So I don't know how I feel about that one. Like I said, I'm not going to order this again. Um, it is just, I should have been more careful with my ordering. And then it also has sunflower oil. All right, next up is cayenne. Okay, this particular cayenne, I could not find it on Amazon. I could not find an equal product, so I just went with the best uh, that I could. For this one, I paid $8.45 on Amazon, and it was $17.95 on Amazon. Okay, I think I said that wrong. $8.45 on Azure, $17.95 on Amazon, but the thing I could not find, you can see on there, it's 140,000 heat units. I could only find 100,000 heat units. I could not find a cayenne that was this hot. Uh, so um, if you want this, you can only get it on the shore. <laughs> we really like heat around here. That might be something that you notice. We really enjoy heat. The more heat, the better. So we saved $9.50 and, $9 here, but also we saved um, an infinite amount because we couldn't find this. We found this on, on Amazon. I also got more of a medium um, a cayenne pepper. It's 40,000 heat units. And this one, I was able to find equal and it was $5.85 on Azure I pay, and it was $15.99 on Amazon. So we saved $10.14 on this one. Then chili powder. I got three pounds of this guy. And this one also has chili powder, salt, spices, and silicone dioxide. I really need to look up the silicone dioxide and see what it is. Um, <clears throat> but Anyways, aside from that, sorry, I'm just very disappointed in myself for not uh, double checking that, but I'm just gonna have to get over it. My, my world's not gonna end. So for three pounds of this, I paid 18.10 and it would have been 23.97 for equal value or for equal product, you know, equal everything. So it would have been $5.87 more on Amazon. Next up on the list is hot salsa. It's organic hot salsa. It is from the Sweet Creek brand. 
It's a hot salsa. I'm really, really excited to try this one. This one is grown in the Northwest and they have this brand at my local co-op, but I have not tried it. They have all kinds of enchilada, salsa, all kinds of, you know, like uh, Mexican sauce options. And I could not find this product on Amazon. One that I would have said would have been kind of an equal quality was a ridiculous price. It was like $150 equated to the two. So I went with one that I probably wouldn't not purchase, but it was one that probably would have been kind of equal value. So, um, or an equal, pro equal product. And this one was, um, I paid 53.49 on Azure and for that product, it would have been 53.88. So we saved 39 cents. And that was also through, um, the whole foods delivery option, which I would never do. So it wasn't the one that was actually like an Amazon delivery was like $150. So you'd have to do a special, like, like, what is that? I think it's like Instacart or something like that uh, in order to get that price. So it's not really a fair comparison, but also I wouldn't pay $150 for salsa. So I feel like it's the fairer of the two options. Okay, so next up was a huge mistake on my part, okay? But it's also gonna spawn a video that's gonna come up here pretty soon. If you guys saw Becky's last Azure Standard Hall on Acre Homestead, she had recommended the Portlandia brand of ketchup because she's from the Portland area and I'm in the Northwest as well. I'm in uh, Northwest Washington. And so I was like, oh, okay, I'll go ahead and order that. I ordered a two and a half gallon bag of ketchup by accident. <laughs> So this whole box right here is just one big bag of ketchup. And I'm just like, I don't even have a toddler. What am I going to do with all this ketchup? <laughs> so I just thought I was ordering, I mean, my own stupid fall. I mean, if I would have read the description in any way, I would have known what it was. Uh, but I was just like, oh, Portlandia ketchup. It's a case. Okay. So, <laughs> so I'm going to be canning up some ketchup coming up here soon. I need to do a little bit of research on how to can it in the processing times and stuff like that. But I love, love, love the ingredients on this. It just has water, organic tomato paste, white distilled vinegar, organic, organic cane sugar, sea salt, granulated onion organic, and granulated allspice, uh, cayenne pepper organic, and ground cloves organic. So they're all in organic ingredients, with the exception, obviously, of the water and the sea salt, which you can't really do organic. So I'm excited to go ahead and look that up. So if you're interested in how to uh, buy this in bulk and what to do with it afterwards. I'm gonna figure that out. I'm gonna let you know. So we paid 46.40 for two and a half gallons of that. If you were to buy that in the individual bottles, it was ridiculously more expensive. I didn't even bother to do a price comparison on that. Uh, if anything, I might want to do like a price comparison for like 12 jars, which is what I thought I was ordering. So, and that would have been 12 jars would have been a lot less than two and a half gallons. But anyways, I just called it a wash. So we're just gonna even even Steven 4640 because I could not find that product on Amazon. And if I tried to calculate the jars, it was just astronomical. Okay, so <clears throat> next up I got La, La Perferdia jalapenos. It's hot jalapenos. Let me show you that one. So I got this jar and this is an 11 and a half ounce jar. There's 12 of them in there. These are supposed to be hot. I will let you know on an upcoming video how hot these actually are because we aim for heat. We like heat. We don't like things that pretend to be hot. Well, we do. I mean, it's better than nothing, but we like things that are really actually hot. Okay, so that one is $31 even on Azure, and it would have been $72.90, a $41.90 more expensive on Amazon. So that was a really good deal. Okay, but the best deal is the next one coming up here, which I need to find. I was missing one product. <laughs> this is canned salmon. The last time that I ordered from Azure, I ordered one of these cans and they I discovered they were such a great deal on Azure. I ordered a whole 24 case. So uh, these things are fantastic. I recently did a salmon cake, uh, salmon fritter, salmon patty, I don't know, what, whatever you wanna call it, a uh, video that I made with only things that I have in my pantry. And so after kind of delving into that and starting to use it, I was like, okay, I want to make sure that I have a lot of this stuff on the pantry shelf. It's a great protein source. It's sustainably sourced uh, salmon and it's just great stuff. So, all right. So the price on this one is ridiculous. Okay. 
but it's a, it's a fair comparison because there's no other comparison. So uh, these things on Azure for the whole 24 case, it was $87.99. If I would have bought an equal amount of the same brand, it would have been $250. So I saved $162.01 pretty good deal. With these ones that I had to do the price conversion and stuff like that, they actually come in cans that were half the size. They did not have this size on Amazon. So I had to do a little bit of math on that one, but the equal conversion was $250. So I thought that was an amazing deal. Okay, next up, I'm pretty excited about these two items. These are fermented hot sauces. One is a smoky jalapeno sriracha and one is a spicy kimchi sriracha. So I love sriracha, I love heat, I love hot sauce, I love fermented foods, I love all of these things. So that meets both bills. I'm really excited to give those things a try. And um, they were $5.04 each with Azure. They would have been $5.69 on Amazon, so save 65 cents a bottle. Next up, crushed tomato. I got two cases of these. So I got 12 jars grand total. These are the same brand as the diced tomatoes that I showed you earlier. I paid $39.54 for two cases. And so they would have been $69.90 on Amazon. So I saved $30.36 for both of the cases. Then we got our chili beans. I had ordered a couple other ones. I wanted to get these jars of, oops, light here. I wanted to get a, uh, some of the white beans or the navy beans, but they had run out by the time my order actually fulfilled. So that didn't actually get shipped. So yeah. These were $14.71 on Azure, and it would have been $31.96 on Amazon. So we saved $17.25. And then the last product was the same thing, but it is chickpeas. It was the same price for on both Azure and Amazon. So, um, so we saved a lot. All right. So I, if I would have bought all of this stuff on Amazon, it would have been $965.46. We saved $435.61, which is amazing, okay? It is completely amazing. We saved almost half on this thing. I was just, I, okay. Every time that I calculate these numbers, I, I surprise myself with how much I saved with, with Azure. So I really hope that you guys are gonna check out Azure. You can check out all of these different products. I'm gonna link the Amazon ones down below if you guys just don't have access to Azure or anything like that. I'll link all the ones that I was able to find down below if you have any interest in checking those out. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoy doing haul videos. I love watching haul videos, all of the haul things, especially when it comes to groceries and gardens. I really like those ones. So I hope that you guys too, I hope that you guys do as well. If you guys wanna check out Azure, Azure standard, make sure you check out my uh, affiliate link down below. If you guys sign up and spend at least $100 through Azure, I will get a $25 credit, which is amazing. It helps the channel, it helps me, it gives me inspiration, and uh, gives me all the feels. So I hope that you guys will consider doing that. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It helps me tremendously with all the googly algorithmic stuff. And if you're new around here, make sure you hit this subscribe button. You're gonna have a ton of fun if you do. Stick around, enjoy all the fun. And then up here is gonna be a video that Mr. Google Pants thinks that you're gonna enjoy. This one here is going to be my last Costco haul. And then up here is going to be the Azure Standard playlist with all of the amazing things in it. So I see you next time.